Uh, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 50 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. Alright, let's uh, select this, edge, ring, connect, uh, connect it twice, pinch it so it gets kind of small, and slide it over here. Okay, and now select one of those internal things, ring, select the polygons. In your local normal, you're going to want to uh, bevel it out, so decrease the radius right there, okay, and then, let's see, try beveling by polygon out a bit, and bevel it like that. And then use the scale tool on the local, scale it, and rotate, and uh, uh, select those vertices, or vertices, sorry, and then just rotate them a bit to give it a uh, like a spiked interior, I guess you'd call it. Okay. Um, next, let's work on a little window thing, I guess. Select that, and select that, and then uh, use the bevel. So bevel it a bit inward. Uh, Strut it out a bit and like that. Okay, then go to cylinder, create a cylinder right here. Okay, give it uh, 18 sides. The local rotate 90 degrees. Okay, local there, move it. Slide it in place. Okay, convert to editable poly, polygons, like that edge, that edge, or that polygon, then get these edges and chamfer them. Go back to polygon, inset, uh, and do a small extrude, about 0.6, select the edges and chamfer them. Okay, next. Uh, make a box right here that goes up and convert to editable poly polygon select this polygon right here hinge from edge pick hinge pick the bottom hinge right there do 90 and 3 okay that connects that, and let's grab these vertices and just drag them down a bit more. Okay, uh, create a cylinder right over here. Doesn't have to be that big. Give it uh, seven sides. Uh, convert to editable poly. Go to the polygon mode. Edges, chamfer. Okay, select that and that, and just cancel. Uh, copy it over. Okay, and select that, 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 and that. Copy it over to the other side. Okay, um, mirror on the Okay, just rotate 90 degrees, I guess. Or not. View. There we go. 180 degrees, sorry. And sink it right back in there. Okay. Looks pretty good. Mm. Now, let's see. Um, we can 
can start work on this front piece, I guess. So, make a box that goes from about here. There, increase the height. You want this part kind of thick because it's a big piece of metal. Okay, convert to editable poly, edge, control A, chamfer, give it a slight chamfer, and uh, select these edges here and connect them eight times. Okay, let's connect this one twice. Okay, connect this one five times. And connect this one twice. Okay, vertex. Uh, actually, let's get this thing in the left hand view. Just to flatten it out over here so we can work with it a bit better. It doesn't have to be perfectly flat. And go to the top view here, vertex, and these. this is as high as it'll go, this top part. So just start shaping out uh, what you want it to look like. Okay, there we go. Uh, next, go into your left view again. Bring it back over here. And rotate it so it'll uh, fit right back on there. Okay, go into the perspective. And just sink it right in. Okay. I'm actually going to scale mine a bit up and a bit out. Okay. Next, make a, a cylinder. Just save for a second here. All right, make a cylinder right here using auto grid, and bring the height down a bit. Just to be sure everything works, sink it in a bit. Convert to editable poly polygons like those edges, chamfer. Okay, I'm just going to set up a bit more, I guess. Okay, uh, next we're going to do a lot of rivet placing, so try to place a rivet at all of the uh, top corners. Oops. Okay. And uh, this will be the end of part 50, and I will see you in part 51, where we will finish off this section. That's about it.